The Adventure of Benny the Bunny and Friends Hi, little friends. Welcome to Amorous Creation, where magic happens and stories come alive. Today, we have a special story just for you, filled with cute characters and lots of fun adventures. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Once upon a time, in a lush, green meadow, there lived a little bunny named Benny. Benny had soft, white fur and big, bright blue eyes. He loved hopping around the meadow, exploring new places, and making friends. Benny had three best friends, Lucy the ladybug, Oliver the owl, and Mia the mouse. They were all different but shared a love for adventure and helping each other. The Magic Meadow One sunny morning, Benny woke up to the sound of chirping birds and the warm sun on his face. He stretched his tiny paws and decided it was the perfect day for an adventure. Benny! Benny! called Lucy the ladybug, fluttering her tiny wings as she landed on Benny's nose. Good morning, Lucy! Benny said with a giggle. What brings you here so early? I found something amazing in the meadow. Lucy exclaimed. You have to see it. Benny's eyes sparkled with excitement. Let's go find Oliver and Mia. They would love to join us. The Secret Garden Benny and Lucy hopped and flew through the meadow until they reached Oliver's tree. Oliver the owl was very wise and always knew the best way to go. Oliver, come down, we have something to show you. Benny called up. Oliver swooped down from his tree and landed gracefully beside his friends. What is it, Benny? Lucy found something amazing in the meadow. Let's find Mia and go see it together. The three friends hurried to Mia's little house under the big oak tree. Mia the mouse was busy collecting acorns but quickly joined her friends when she heard about the adventure. They all followed Lucy through the meadow, past the tall grasses and colorful flowers, until they reached a hidden path covered in ivy. Here it is, Lucy said, pointing to the path. I think it leads to a secret garden. The friends looked at each other with wide eyes and big smiles. They loved secret places. The Magic Fountain As they walked down the path, they noticed the air around them felt different, magical even. Soon, they reached a beautiful garden filled with flowers of every color and butterflies dancing in the air. In the middle of the garden was a sparkling fountain. The water shimmered like diamonds and made a soothing, musical sound as it flowed. Wow! Mia whispered. This place is beautiful. Benny hopped closer to the fountain and noticed something strange. There were tiny, glowing orbs floating above the water. Look at those lights, Benny said, mesmerized. They look like tiny stars. Oliver, being very wise, explained, I think these are magic orbs. They must be what makes this garden so special. Just then, a tiny voice spoke from behind the fountain. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Magic Meadow. Meeting Tilly the Fairy. Out from behind the fountain flew a tiny fairy with sparkling wings. She was no bigger than a butterfly and wore a dress made of flower petals. Hi, I'm Tilly the Fairy, she said with a friendly smile. Thank you for visiting our magic garden. Benny and his friends were amazed. They had never met a real fairy before. We're so happy to meet you, Tilly, Benny said. Your garden is wonderful. Thank you, Tilly replied. This garden is special because it's where we fairies live and take care of the magic in the meadow. But today, we need your help. The Lost Star 
Our magic fountain is missing its most important star, Tilly explained. Without it, the magic in the meadow will fade away. We tried to find it, but it's hidden somewhere in the meadow. Benny and his friends knew they had to help. They loved the meadow and wanted to keep it magical. We'll help you find the missing star, Tilly. Benny said bravely. Thank you so much, Tilly said with a twinkle in her eye. I'll give each of you a little bit of fairy dust to help you on your quest. Tilly sprinkled a pinch of sparkling fairy dust on each of her new friends. Benny felt a warm, tingling sensation and knew they were ready for the adventure. The Clue in the Tree The friends decided to start their search at Oliver's tree. They looked around for any clues that might lead them to the missing star. Mia, with her sharp eyes, noticed something shiny caught in the tree's branches. Look! Up there! Oliver flew up and brought down a small piece of paper. It was a clue. To find the star, you must go where the flowers glow and the river flows, Oliver read aloud. That must mean the flower field by the river, Lucy guessed. The friends hurried to the flower field, hoping to find another clue. The flower field. The flower field was a magical place with flowers that glowed softly in the sunlight. The river nearby made a gentle, soothing sound as it flowed. As they searched the field, Benny spotted something unusual among the flowers. It was another clue. Benny carefully picked up the piece of paper and read it. Look where the tallest tree meets the sky and you will find a surprise nearby. The tallest tree in the meadow is the old oak tree, Oliver said. The friends set off towards the old oak tree, their hearts filled with hope. The old oak tree. When they reached the old oak tree, they looked around for the next clue. Mia, being very small, squeezed into a hollow at the base of the tree and found something shiny. It's the missing star. Mia cried, holding up the sparkling star. They had found it. Benny and his friends were overjoyed. They carefully took the star back to the magic garden, eager to return it to the fountain. Restoring the magic. Tilly the fairy was waiting for them at the fountain. Her face lit up with happiness when she saw the star. You did it. You found the missing star, she exclaimed. Benny carefully placed the star into the fountain. As soon as he did, the water glowed brighter than ever, and the garden was filled with even more magic. You saved the magic meadow, Tilly said gratefully. Thank you, Benny, Lucy, Oliver, and Mia. You are true heroes. A magical celebration. To celebrate, Tilly invited all the fairies to join them for a magical celebration. The garden was filled with music, laughter, and delicious treats. Benny and his friends danced with the fairies and enjoyed the magical atmosphere. They felt proud and happy to have helped their new friends. As the sun began to set, Tilly thanked them once more. Remember, the magic in the meadow will always be here as long as there are friends like you. Benny and his friends promised to visit the magic garden often and keep it safe. They said their goodbyes and headed back to their meadow, tired but very happy. Thank you for joining us on this magical adventure, little friends. We hope you enjoyed the story of Benny the Bunny and his friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Amorous Creation for more fun stories and adventures. Until next time, keep imagining and keep smiling. Bye-bye.